Hey, we're going to take a deep dive into RAG evaluation with uh, N8N. Um, I'm going to do my best to break it down and make it like simple so we can all use it in our day-to-day -day solo builder or business owner who wants to make sure their uh, systems are working well. So the, the problem to solve is how good is your chat system? How good is the system that's giving customers answers, whether it's by phone call or chat or text or WhatsApp? How good are the results? And so what I'm going to show here is the system that N8N recently released to help evaluate uh, your, your RAG system. Now, RAG is Retrieval Augmented Generation. Like where you're basically saying, hey, AI, they're asking the question, go get data from the system we have or, or that has that data and give us some results. And then take those results and answer their question. It keeps it on track. It prevents the hallucinations and whatnot. So the... The real problem here, though, too, is as a builder who doesn't always understand the domain is how do I come in and test their chat system? So say I'm building a system about uh, tenders or, or building proposals. I have no clue how to build. I have no clue what's a good uh, source of the uh, data so that the output makes sense. So, for example, we scrape a bunch of tenders and we're going to make believe or someone who is looking for those RFPs and they're asking questions from the chat system about that RFP and or grant, and they're getting results. And we want to make sure those results are good to lead the user into the next step. Uh, it could be a sales call, could be a support, could be so many things. But I might not know that domain of uh, 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 that that domain that business area. So I need to. I can't just sit there and type away all hundred or a thousand questions and. May see if they make sense because I'm looking at the PDF or the data source to see, yeah, that does line up. No, that's nearly impossible. It would take a ton of time. Uh, it's, it's more than a full-time job. So this system is going to allow us to automate the questions, automate the answers, and then uh, generate a lot of output so that we can see how the system's doing. Uh, and even that's automated where we'll have the AI evaluate the results and, and then summarize them for us. And again, it goes on and on like that, how we're going to end up. All right. So we're going to start with the finished results and you're going to see a, a, a complex N8N workflow. And I say complex with quotes because, you know, some of the stuff is just complex because it's messy or because I didn't move things off into other workflows that I could just to help demo it better. Um, and it will make sense as you dive in. So just, it, just, just give it time. And then you'll see we're putting a lot of answers into Google Sheets, but you could use NoCodeDB, you can use Airtables, you can use Monday. It doesn't matter. When I'm done, you'll see that even though N8N's evaluation system can't do uh, anything but Google Sheets right now, you can do it uh, on your own. And like I mentioned before, the, the, the spreadsheet is full of questions and answers and testable data uh, uh, expectations that I had the AI generate. So you're going to see... We're going to have that as well in this workflow so we can generate the test data. I, you just, just imagine trying to write hundreds or thousands of questions and answers, especially if you don't know the system at all. And I've tried. It just, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of work, and I don't know if the results are, were even worth it. Now, the first workflow we're going to look into is the how to generate questions to test with. Um, and so let's, let's go look at that really quick and, and then we'll keep going in, uh, one after the other. So this one is the start of it. Now I'm not going to talk about how I put the data in the RAG system. This is kind of irrelevant to that. You can, I'll, I'll link to great videos. Some of mine, some are just these other guys I, I, I watch on YouTube. Lots of great stuff there to show how to quickly make a RAG system. N8N, Superbase, um, so many options. But in this case, we're going to run this workflow here. And if I move the uh, this guy, so I have a manual trigger here that I share around, and I put it here. What this will do uh, is it's going to get all the content for that particular project. So in this case, there's a project, and that project has PDFs, and those PDFs represent the knowledge of that project. So here I'm saying give me all the documents related to that project, and let's go give it to the AI system. And so in here, we're saying, here's all our content. Uh, this is your role. Generate some user questions and generate some system answers. So this isn't so much RAG because we're saying, here's everything. Here's a big PDF, pages of content that 
if it doesn't fit in here, we could we can talk about that. You can use Gemini, which is like a million to two million context windows and whatnot. But in this case, we're saying now give us some questions in, in the answers here that we can use to consider in our testing or evaluation. So back here at the particular sh the Google Sheet I'm using, uh, they become uh, these items here. There's only five. Yeah, five, because I want to uh, obviously iterate more quickly here as I demo. And so those two columns, it generated the questions. And so by the time I'm done running this first one, we come out of it with five questions that a user might ask in five answers that the system, the AI in this case, thinks would be good answers. Now, if you think about this, um, the you could even do some cool stuff where you're saying, you know, ask the question as if you're an expert. Uh, so say maybe uh, we're dealing with a support uh, ticket system and you're like, ask as if you're new to the system. Ask as if you're an expert in this particular domain. Uh, you know, or leads. Maybe you're saying someone's coming to my site and, or, or texting us. Um, they're asking about a certain something and, and, and this is how they, this is where they are in the, in the level of this domain. Ask at that level. So you can really even create different levels uh, to the users that you're kind of simulating. So at this point, we have a bunch of questions for our system. So the next thing we're going to do is take a moment to run the actual uh, evaluation system. So this is the newer type node that comes in N8N. And if you go here to evaluations, um, you can see a video here. It's really worth watching. Actually, it's worth bookmarking because you might want to watch it a few times. And um, we add this so we can trigger the particular flow to happen. So if I go down here and I was to trigger that, it would start running. And then it would, in, it would go through each one of those, handing it off to the, uh, the, the, the agent. And it's basically acting as if I'm a user chatting away with the system. So it's the same thing as if I went here and said, um, it, it's the same flow, unless I messed it up that it would be as if I was coming up to the system to ask a question. But this would take forever, um, as you can see. Like this one here, I might have not output it correctly because of the chat window. And But there you go. There's the answer. So my point is, instead of doing hundreds of these, we're just going to use this. And when I run it, it will go through those six, uh, sorry, five questions or a hundred, one at a time, and go through them. But instead of stopping right here, it would go down here. And so here is where we do the actual magic of this evaluation. Now, tons of docs, tons of links here from N8N, good stuff, great example workflows. I copied a lot of them over. But then one thing that happened, and I'll show you as we do uh, summaries of the uh, evaluations, again, AI doing it for me, chat GPT, copy pasting, but then I ended up just making my own <laughs> evaluation down below, evaluation of the evaluation. The, 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 we give the system with each one of those all the uh, data. We say, hey, here's the, the uh, uh, here, this one just says, are we in evaluation mode? If we are, let's keep going. Because you could hook this up to your main website. So you have your main website running off the same chat system you're evaluating, which is cool because you just know it's the same thing. So at this point, we, we say, okay, Here's all our content. Uh, here's the prompt that you're gonna that the evaluation AI is gonna use, and we're we're this is basically the prompt that NADN gave us in their demo. But then I kind of changed it because I didn't like how mm, how it was uh, considering the data. And I said to ChatGPT, "Here's the results. Here's what I was expecting. Here's what it gave. Why is it so low, score so low?" And it kind of surfaced that the evaluation prompt was kind of uh, a little bit too. A little bit too uh, off, uh, and that's again, it's your, it's, it's just kind of knowing your customers, knowing your users, knowing what you really want for answers, formatting wise. So here we are with the system prompt for the evaluation system. Here I tell it, listen, uh, actually they told it, you know, this is what we want to generate, and then it gives a bunch of examples and notes. Uh, so this prompt is what dr starts to drive the system to, to then rate your particular. Uh, output. So for example, when we run that, it's going to take the input, it's going to generate a an answer. Uh, this answer, 
it's verbatim to this one, but this one is not. So you can kind of see how it varies. I mean, verbatim is good because you know your AI then is pretty solid and there's no memory, no hallucinations, no drifting. Uh, and then it takes that output and it generates the score in a reasoning. So at this point, we say, okay, here's the output. Here's the, um, the uh, expected answer, okay? Here's the output that came from the AI. And then here is the ground truth, all of the data inside of our PDF. Now, that's a tricky one because what if that was a, a many, many pages? Well, you can go back to just rag and grab the context and give it that. But I wanted to give it all to see what would happen. So how can we see this? Let's see what this guy is. Let's go, um, let's go look back in history. Uh, so I'm going to go to an evaluation. This guy stopped. Okay, let's run this. Now, I'm going to just, it takes a moment, so let's run it. We're going to get rid of all of this, okay? And we're going to get rid of, um, well, we'll get rid of this one um, later because we're going to have it review the results for us, okay? So we now have just the uh, input, some sp uh, suggested output, and then nothing, okay? So when we run this, let's choose the correct one. It's going to go over those five rows. And each one, it's going to chat with the system as if it's just me typing away. And then it's going to say, oh, you're in evaluation mode. Let's go further with this and pass it to your evaluation system. So at this point, it comes out the other end with scores. And... So again, here's the result. And that's interesting. It's basically verbatim. I'm not using memory, so we know it is not like a memory thing. And then we get the score and we get the reason behind the score. So the reason behind the score uh, is what we gave that prompt and the evaluation. Um, you know, now we'll use that uh, to put it there. These even the in-depth reasoning, but I didn't save that one. No good reason why not. So these are all fives. I mean... Maybe I can get more strict. Maybe I could push it more. Um, maybe if I did 100, it would, it would start to drift down to twos and threes and fours. Like maybe, like I would just have to see, or maybe I ask the AI to approach it as if a different user or ask more nuanced questions. We'll, we'll have to come back to that later. But now if we go to here, it should almost be done. Okay. And so now we have our, our scores. Now again, I'm not, you know, all fives, it's nice but maybe I'm being a little bit too easy with the prompt. Maybe I need to make it more picky. It's a, it's a good question. Now, I, I, I'm gonna jump ahead for a moment because right now I'm like, oh, let me read all 100 of these. Mm. So I'm gonna say, you know what? I want you to go tell me what you think about this AI. And so I'm gonna run this other one down here. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is run uh, this one, and let me see if I can run it correctly. I like that they did this now. Um, okay, so it will run through, if I set this up correctly, um, the grade quality of answers. So it will, hold on, something's taking forever and it shouldn't. Okay, so it should take all of these, 100, 1,000, 10, whatever, and it should take all of those and give them to the AI to say, here's the results of our last effort to, to run this. Give me a sense of, of what you think of the results, okay, and what we can do better. And so at the end of that run, it will, um, it will say, okay, this is what it's evaluating, this is what it's seeing from the scores, and these are some tips it gives me. So if those scores were lower, it, it, it might show me some other tips. Now, this prompt, includes the RAG system prompt, which is a horrible prompt, um, but it could suggest a different RAG system prompt. It could then help build a better prompt for the system. So we, we now not only generated um, all of these uh, scores and reasonings and output, but we were able to say, by the way, uh, instead of me reading all 100 of those, just kind of TLDR for me, give me some tips, sum it up, or we can do more. But you can kind of see how we've now made this whole process a lot easier by generating the questions and answers, potential answers, and then generating a summary of all the evaluation. So another big win there in automation. Now, let's look at the columns in the spreadsheets as well. So in these columns, I have one grade to the quality of the answer. So it's going to say, um, it's 
going to use the input, which is what we generated for fake user questions. Uh, expected output is something it expects is a good answer or, yeah, you know, it, it, it kind of sets a, a baseline. Then this is the output that came from running it through the system. And then the evaluation system gave it a score, five being good, one being not so good. And then the reason for that score. And with the um, workflow to test the quality of the hybrid search, it's a little bit different, uh, a little bit. We have the input, we have the expected output, uh, and actually like we had before, but the score, and this threw me off, it's one or zero. I don't know why it's that way. I might have just copied something wrong, but I, I could probably change it to one to five. But anyways, one being really good, zero not being good. And so we're able to then see not so much the quality of the answer, obviously, but the 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 amount of data coming back through the uh, search, the hybrid search. And so we take those hybrid search results and we also push those into the chat. So if you look here, um, when we do the evaluation, we are um, based on, and this is, a lot of this is the copy paste from, from their site, uh, from, um, from NADN. In one of these, we will, we extract the search results from the intermediate steps filter. Uh, sorry, intermediate steps. We filter that down to be what we want. So, and you'll get these workflows in, 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 the, in the stack over, uh, sub stack. But um, one thing here is, you know, I had to turn on a particular feature, which I think was this one. So that's an option to get me that. And, they had all this in their docs, but you know, it just was an easy one to miss. Um, so now you can see like, this isn't that hard to read or understand. We have two different sheets here representing two different things we're testing. Uh, you can make another one to test tools because they have a workflow for that testing the tools. Uh, they have a whole write up here and a bunch of links to examples. They did a good job of doing all this categorization um, and, and so forth. So it's, it's a lot here to do. Um, but remember, the prompts they're giving you to do the evaluations should be looked into. Uh, throw those at ChatGPT so that you're not just assuming that's the prompt you want to use. All right, so now what? Um, so as a business owner or as a solo developer, you, you don't need that machine learning expert or that computer science expert. It, you've got a lot of tools here and a lot of abilities here. So that's, that's kind of a, uh, something we got to remember is like, the AI is enabling us to do things we couldn't do before. Um, good enough, well enough. Um, so you got to keep that in mind as you start to think, what can I do? What am I making? How do I make what I'm making better? Um, sure, you can always hire people like that, but then they might complicate it by bringing in a lot of um, Python scripts and things you're just running and you don't even know how to run them and you have to call them every time you want to run them. Ideally, you're in a system like this where you can run it anytime you want. You can run it on a schedule, you, you know, there's so many ways you can improve this to automate the ongoing testing and the ongoing quality of your system. You know, if the scores were lower, I would get some information from it. Maybe it would teach me how to chunk my data better. Maybe it would tell me my prompts are not great. So uh, this would take some iteration uh, and then setting up, setting up hundreds of records or thousands and letting it run for an hour uh, is key as well. And, it could get pricey, but you could use open router. You could use lower cost LLMs easily. Uh, you could use a local version of Olama, which I have there as well. I just removed it for speed. Um, and I mean, that's about it. You want to learn more or you want all these workflows. There's a sub stack link below. That's mine. Join it uh, and you can become a paid member and get all these for free. Um, otherwise, I uh, hope this helps. This is an amazing feature, an amazing way to just have confidence in your chat systems or AI systems. Uh, all right. Thank you.